Hello people, I'm the Recon for Gamer. Today I'm going to be talking about the Arrow mid-season finale, mainly part 2 because part 1 was pretty much setting up part 2. But first off, if you have not seen any of these, uh, part 1 or 2, I will be spoiling it. And uh, you can go to the CW site, they have it up. At, at least I know they have part 2, I don't know if they have part 1 up. But you can just go and watch it free there if you, uh, if you haven't already seen it. Uh, or if you just want to see it again because of how awesome part 2 was. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, so anyways, yeah, spoiler alert, I'm gonna be spoiling this stuff, and, uh, but yeah, first off, before I geek out about what happened with Deathstroke and everything, and, like, just go, yes, uh, <laughs> I gotta talk about Barry Allen. Uh, Barry Allen, Grant Gustin played Barry Allen. He played a fantastic Peter Parker, but he was not Barry Allen, <laughs> and, like, for Peter Parker, spot on. He is better than Andrew Garfield, the guy who's currently playing Peter Parker in The Amazing Spider-Man. He is like 50 times better than him. He should be Spider-Man. He is a great Peter Parker, but it's Barry Allen. Well, it's not really his fault. I'm not saying the actor can't pull it off, because, you know, I'm assuming the whatever the people at Arrow are telling him to act this way. I don't think he's just like, oh no, I'm gonna act like Peter Parker. Uh, yeah, they're telling him to act like this, and it's like, why? That's not, maybe it's a whole nerdy, and then once he turns into the Flash, he'll turn more Barry Allen. Because, um, Barry Allen is, well, a bunch of people, when they think Barry Allen, they think, oh, extremely funny and stuff, but they're, most of the time, they're thinking of Wally West. Wally West was, like, the funny Flash, was the really funny Flash. Barry Allen was still crack jokes and stuff. But, uh, if I had to describe Barry Allen the way he is, he's sort of like, uh, the way Superman is in the Superman Batman books. The way Superman is around Batman, how he's witty and he's funny and he's, like, constantly messing with Bruce. And how, like, he'll crack jokes from time to time in the book. So, as, uh, when he's by himself, you know, he has, he, j Superman's more serious, Justice, and all that, but, uh, when he's with Batman, he, 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 you know, he's more witty and, like, and cracks jokes. Uh, that's the way Barry Allen is to me. Barry Allen is sort of a Superman type-ish character. Like, he he's a little bit like Superman to me. Uh, but yeah, that's the way I sort of describe Barry Allen. I'm not saying he's like a complete clone of Superman, but he's he's sort he has like those Superman elements. Uh, if you just if you just read the way Barry Allen is and stuff. Uh, but yeah, he's he's a really cool character, but they just made him Peter Parker, which made no sense. Uh, now, uh, oh yeah, Solomon Grundy was also in this. Solomon Grundy was really cool. Uh, the, the fight, the fight in season, in, uh, episode, I mean, part one, uh, where he fought him on the truck, and then when he fought him in that, I don't know, warehouse, yeah, the warehouse, they each lasted maybe two minutes each, maybe, or maybe combined two minutes, <laughs> but they were awesome, especially the, the warehouse fight when he shoots, when, uh, Green Arrow shoots the two arrows into his, uh, into his feet and stuff, so cool. I was like, yes, this is awesome. Uh, it was sort of like, like, when I was, um, what's it called? <laughs> when I was, uh, watching that, it reminded me a bit of the, um, what's it called? The Green Arrow, the Archer's Quest, that graphic novel, because that's where, uh, Green Arrow takes out Solomon Grundy, and it was so awesome. That fight was so cool, and it reminded me a bit of that. Of course, you know, he didn't end up choking him at the end of his bow. That would be cool. But yeah, you get, got the absolute crap beat out of him the first time, then, then the next time. That was pretty cool. Uh, when they fought, and then they had the whole Solomon Grundy, Born on a Monday, like, poem slash... I guess it's a poem or a lullaby. I don't know what you call it. Um, that was really cool. And it's like, yeah, more throws to Solomon Grundy. And then when he shoots that canister of whatever stuff, and it, like, explodes on his face, and, like, part of his face starts turning gray, that was cool. That was really cool. Because it's turning him a bit more Solomon Grundy-like. Because that's the thing, with this show, Season 1, I love Season 1. I actually liked it better than Season 2. Um, but I was afraid, I was like, please don't go all Nolan on me. I want some more superheroic stuff. Deathstroke's gotta get his serum and stuff. And, and then, when uh, they... Then in, earlier in Season 2, when they said about the submarine with like the super soldier serum, I was like, yep, Deathstroke's getting it. I know he is. And, yeah, I was right. I was like, yes! Of course, every Deathstroke fan was saying that. Uh, but, yeah, that was... Uh, I'm really excited that they've been pulling more, like, superhero comic book stuff. Because, 
like I like the Nolan stuff, like the Nolan style stuff too. But I, I, I already got my dose of Nolan. I got three movies of it. It was really good. But I want some more super uh, comic book stuff. Like uh, that'd be so awesome. They, they're gonna do it eventually. They gotta fit the, um, the boxing glove arrow into an episode. They've got to. I know they're going to somehow, some way. They will do it. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, next. I, get, I, I'm, I just can't skip it any longer. Deathstroke. Slade, he finally appeared with his eye patch in the present day and gray hair. He didn't have like his whole white hair or anything. He looked so badass and awesome. And I was like, yes! Yes! I was geeking out and just freaking out and just so happy. I was like, oh my gosh, he's in the fuck. Okay, he's gotta go. I was just so happy about that. That was just awesome. He, he just looks Manu Bennett. Uh, he's who plays, he's the guy who plays Deathstroke. Looks so awesome as Deathstroke. And uh, when he's talking to Brother Blood about what he's going to do to Green Arrow, also I called that. I never talked about Arrow on my, on my uh, channel though. So yeah, but I called it before when I uh, talked to my friends about Arrow and stuff. I said, he, um, Oliver has got to shoot um, Slade in the eye. I know that's how he's going to lose his eye. And I was right because Slade's like, I'm going to find him and I'm going to put an arrow on his eye. I'm like, yep, I was right. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> it was so cool. He just, like, finding out Slade's, like, the mastermind behind all this, supplying them with the super soldier serum stuff while he's giving them his blood, which is what's giving them the, the powers and stuff. So cool. I can't wait till it comes back. Why did it have to leave? Come on. I know it's Christmas time and everything, but please. I have to wait till I think it comes back January 15th for it to come back. Like, seriously, you just revealed Deathstroke and you're going away, you jerks? <laughs> Come on. But yeah, he was completely awesome. Also, another thing about Barry Allen and, uh, uh, what's it called? And, uh, Oliver. My, another problem I had with that was Grant Gustin, who plays, uh, The Flash, and Stephen Mel, who plays Green Arrow, are like 10 years apart. So yeah, that, I wish they'd be a little bit closer because, you know, in the comics you had. Green Arrow, Hal Jordan, and uh, and Flash. You know, uh, so yeah, you had them three that were like the trio. Um, so yeah, and they were all around the same age. And I wish, I really wish Barry Allen would have been around the same age as Stephen Amell, uh, of Oliver Queen. But nope, he is like ten years younger than him. I mean, it would it would make sense if he looked around his age though, but he doesn't at all. So that kind of sucked. So yeah, like I didn't hate Barry Allen, but it wasn't Barry Allen, so I couldn't hate him even if I wanted to. <laughs> it was it was Peter Parker. The guy did a good job pulling off Peter Parker. But yeah, in the end, Deathstroke. That's the way I would sum up this episode. Like that's just like if you hate everything about this episode, just wait till Slade comes on screen. I mean, I'm just, just just serious when he just like is talking about all the stuff he's gonna do. Also, the hallucination fight in the Arrow Cave was really cool uh, between Oliver and Slade. That was really cool. But yeah, I'm trying to think of what else happened in this episode besides Slade. <laughs> oh yeah, Roy Harper. He's gonna become Arsenal soon. He's got to. He got stuck with the um stuff with the um Super Soldier Serum. So there, his arm's gonna get cut off somehow, and then he's gonna become Arsenal. I know that's gonna happen soon, 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 soon. It might happen at the season finale of season two. I think that might happen. I think Slade will actually cut his arm off. I th I, that's what I think's gonna happen. I, I'm calling it now. I think Deathstroke will cut his arm off. That's why I, I, th I think that's what's gonna happen. That would be uh, like, really cool. Uh. But yeah, that's my thoughts on uh, the season finale. Uh, I, as much as I want to keep on geeking out about Deathstroke, he looks so friggin' awesome. Uh, I can't anymore. That is it. If, uh, what are your thoughts on the Arrow season finale? Put them down in the comment section below. Personally, I absolutely love part two. Part one was just setting up part two, but part uh, two of the season finale, I mean mid-season finale, was really good. I really liked it, mainly because of Slade, but the other stuff was really good too. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. 